Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Nate Johnston, Dallas, Texas. What do I do in transition? Years ago, the Lord called us to do something unconventional and by outward appearances. It seemed like a terrible decision to make for our family. In obedience, we said, yes, Lord. We followed his leading, which drew then into the wilderness season of isolation. For months and months, I felt like we had failed. I felt raw, void, and frustrated, even though we knew that it was what the Lord was speaking so loud and clearly. Then, as time went on, something happened. Dreams started coming alive in a way we had never experienced before. What we didn't expect was that this seemingly barren place turned into the most fruitful time as God stripped and removed old mindsets, stripped the debris, began to remind us of the dreams we had forgotten about and had become too busy for. Many times when God calls you into a shift, he will ask you to do something out of the box, something risky, something unusual. But as you follow him into the unknown, the purpose begins to get clear. I've written so much about transition. Everywhere I look, though, I still see people in the middle of their own transition, walking around discouraged, feeling abandoned by God. They followed his leading, but feel shipwrecked. They have moved at the sound of his voice, but now it feels like he is silent. Many times in the wilderness, this is the very place God uses to incubate and nurture the greatest dreams of our lives. It may look like the complete opposite. It may be as far removed from what we imagined, but it is the environment that is used to multiply you and prepare you for launch. When Joseph was thrown into prison, it says that the Lord was with him. He had favor. God used him to interpret the dreams of others, which was then the catalyst for his own release, his own promotion the fulfillment of his own dreams. Your transition season is not a time of wasting and wandering aimlessly. God is working intentionally on your behalf to disengage you from the past, to heal you and restore you, to equip you, to prepare and refuel you for the road ahead. Maybe like Joseph, you have more answers for others, but can't see where you are headed. Just watch as God moves you from that place of obscurity to a fresh vision and the realization of your dreams. Here are some keys to help you stay focused on your dreams and the purpose that God has for you in this season as he's moving you from one place or activity or assignment and season into another. First, we must stay in his presence. Worship is the compass. It's the compass of your worship. It moves you forward in unknown seas even when you can't see. In his presence, you'll stay in step with him. You also must remind yourself daily of the dreams and the promises over your life. Celebrate them. Thank God in advance for what is to come. We must surrender to the process. The Israelites drew out their process 40 years when it didn't need to take that long. God is breaking your Egypt mindset, and you need to give him permission and access to do what he needs to do. It's an upgrade, so let him do it. Don't fall by the wayside in the waiting. Many times in waiting we give up, We shut up. (laughs) Be like Joseph. Help others find their answers. Keep yourself stirred and alive. We can also speak. In the dark, you need to speak and declare the sunrise. Use this place to prophesy. You will see God shine his light on your steps. God will begin to speak to you in ways you haven't heard him before. Maybe you aren't hearing him like you used to, but your dreams are very alive. They're active. Pay attention to them. Allow the new revelation to flow. Remember, you have to know that God hasn't forgotten you. This is a launching season to get ready. We must get ready. Get ready. Let's pray into this word together. (sighs) Heavenly Father, Lord, it's with discouragement that many are approaching you in their transition. Father, why is it that in a time of transition, we lose sight? We lose sight of the promises. We lose sight of what we have on the inside of us, Father. Lord, I thank you that you give, you bring a fresh wave. A fresh wave of encouragement, Father, over my friend, over myself, our friends and family, any, any child of God who finds himself in transition right now, Father. Lord, I declare and decree the shift is coming. Stir up our faith. Stir up our excitement. Lord, may we anticipate it. May we prepare Lord, we don't just want it to catch us by surprise, Lord. But Lord, may we prepare active 
actively working, actively in the process of surrender, not waiting, not idly sitting, waiting for you to just come in and do it for us, Father. But Lord, may we go out and lay hold of it. May we stay in your presence. May our worship lead us and guide us as you deposit on the inside of us, as you encourage us through these words every day, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.